How are you? And welcome to yet another exciting episode of Churchill Show Journey Series Edition. I need to be careful. <laughs> Maliniko tuko katikati ya musitu. Uh, ukiona mnyama si jokes ni mkweli. All right. Welcome to another uh, exciting series of Churchill Show Journey Series Edition. Thanks so much for your feedback, your support. What to America? We get your requests and thank you so much. We really appreciate your support. Uh, and uh, Britain also. America, every vote counts. Is yes, a big way. I'm a Kirudu. Thank you so much for your feedback. And, and everyone, those who are saying, Wanataka story yangu, my, my story is all over. It's all over. My story is told in most of the guests I interview. So, ni kushikanisha tu siku moje tashikanisha na producer J. Blessing. Alafu ikuje ishe. Sasa. So today we happen to visit my friend. Many, many, many years ago, he's been in the industry for over 27 years. I'm talking about the one guy who almost replaced our national anthem with his song. I'm talking about Daima Mkenya. This is my good friend, my brother, a man we all love. The amazing story of one and only Eric Wainaina. Hi, my name is Eric Wanaina. I'm a singer and a songwriter and a producer from Nairobi, Kenya. So growing up, uh, I had a father and a mother and one brother. Uh, we grew up uh, in, uh, in Kilimani. I was born in 1973, a long, long, long time ago. Um, the, yeah, we were a really happy family. Me, uh, my parents loved music, they loved to dance. Uh, my parents especially used to have this Whenever we had, we had music playing in the house all the time. Um, records of everything from, uh, from Kamaru, we had Wakamba All Stars, we had some Dio. Um, uh, later on we had some Franco, then we, and everything that was coming to Kenya from, from outside Kenya, like uh, be it the Beatles or or Kenny Rogers or whoever. And so there was always music. And my parents loved to dance. And so from a very early age, um, uh, that sort of vibe in the house of people just dancing, especially when we had a party. Uh, my dad is a big twist fan. So whenever there was twist music playing, he and my mom would, would just do this wonderful routines. Um, and I went to school very close, to nursery school, very close to where we lived. We used to walk there and walk back. It was easy. It was the 70s and so <laughs> um, Yeah, and uh, there, there were no malls. And so if you wanted to go shopping, like for something like bread or milk, you'd go to your car, car kiosk down the road. If you wanted to do big shopping, maybe you'd go to Tao, which was just literally five minutes away. There was no traffic. Imagine, in Nairobi with no traffic. Um, yeah, that was that. Then I went to primary school at a school called St. Mary's. And I, st I spent my whole life there. I was introduced or continued, or it was a very, the, the atmosphere for music was very, it, it was, there was music everywhere. Um, we had a choir, then we would do uh, musical plays once a year, uh, and uh, there was, there, at, at Prize Day, there was an opportunity to, to perform there as well. At all the assemblies, there was an opportunity. Um, and I played a lot of sport. At one point, I thought I was going to be a professional football player. Which young kid doesn't want to be a professional football player? I was definitely one of them. I played basketball as well. I captained my school team. But uh, we were shown dust 
one time we, <laughs> on several occasions uh, we played St. Teresa's. This is a story that I, I like to tell guys. We played St. Teresa's I think in 1987. I was in the first team. I was in Form 1. Manze tulitinkwa 159.34. Badu nakumuka hiyo story. 159.34. I think it was a Tuesday sometime in February of 1987. Life has never been so clear. Anyway, so I, 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 I played basketball and I went back into to singing because in high school, uh, singing wasn't cool. You know, if you sang, uh, people thought, ah, what's, what's, what's the problem with you, you know? Um, so I, I bowed to that peer pressure. I played more sports, but towards the end of my school career, I started gravitating back towards music. Uh, growing up, I had one sibling, only one brother, older than, older than me, which he reminded me about uh, throughout our childhood. He's four years older than me, his name is Simon. Um, and uh, so we had that normal relationship that boys have, you know. There was, uh, there was definitely camaraderie and love, but there was also some serious beatings. Um, and, uh, but I mean, I, a lot of my, my, my first lessons of life come from my brother, you know, and uh, we're still very tight. Uh, in fact, he was my first uh, manager. Um, and we have, at all times in my career, maintained a relationship of um, at different times being, uh, sometimes it's close, sometimes it's not so close, but always a relationship of trying to, um, he's always doing his best to, to help me out in, in my career and make me see things that I might not have seen. Um, and he's, he has a very sharp sort of political mind, um, a very sharp uh, business mind. And so we, we, he gives me a lot of advice from time to time. My brother's a businessman. Um, he started off as a banker. Uh, then he became a hotelier. It was, he was doing marketing for hotels. Um, recently, he was working for a member of parliament. Uh, and uh, now he's just, he's a businessman now. My dad uh, started off life as an accountant. Um, he did that for maybe 10, 15 years and then I think got bitten by the bug to do a couple of other things. And so he's done, he's had his hand in a number of different things. Um, he's had his hand in insurance. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's farming, you know. Uh, and then he got his PhD recently, uh, maybe about six, seven years ago. He has a PhD in entrepreneurship. Um, and he is an avid, avid golfer and plays golf um, at least two times a week. Um, and he's really good. I think uh, <laughs> um, had, had, had he maybe considered it when he was young, I think maybe he could even have become a professional. Um, my mum uh, was, was a secretary uh, for the first maybe seven, eight years of my life. Um, she worked for a quantity surveying company uh, called Armstrong and Duncan, which I think still exists. Um, and um, then when I was about, yeah, maybe nine, she, she quit uh, and became a housewife. And so she was raising me and my brother. And also during that time, she also managed my father's uh, furniture business, because like I said, my father has done a lot of things. Um, I know people who still have furniture that, <laughs> that my father sold to them in the 80s, and, and they're still using it. Um, and so, yeah, so, so she ran that for him for a while. Um, she did a lot of, of studying of, uh, of psychology to try and understand what was happening to me and my brother as we grew older trying to understand the changes in our lives and the people that we were becoming. Uh, so f uh, for a long time, she was my, my closest confidant um, person that I would go to with all my teenage problems and sort of have a conversation with mom, sort of try to understand wh where was this thing going. Um, unfortunately, in the, when, I, when I turned uh, just about 24, 25, my parents got separated and then finally divorced. Um, and uh, she went to the U.S. for a while and came back and now lives in Kirogoya, um, where is where she comes from. The divorce of my parents um, came at a time when uh, I, I was 24, you know, so, and I'd seen, I'd seen them have ups and downs. And so I think maybe it came at a time where I think everyone agreed, maybe this is the better thing to do. 
um, and so there wasn't any acrimony. Uh, obviously, there was pain, you know. Uh, on my part, I felt, I felt what any child feels. You feel, you feel betrayed. You feel, ah, what does this mean for me and my future and my marriage? Uh, will I be able to, to, to see, to see my marriage through if, if my parents have not survived? But I mean, you know, um, you learn from, from the, from the successes and failures of those who've gone before. Um, and so for a time there, there was a bit of a distance between me and my father as soon as the divorce happened. Um, but then we've had to, uh, to figure out how to, how to readjust. Uh, and now we're fine. Uh, he and my mom speak whenever they need to. Um, yeah, so life moves on. To the world. Welcome to uh, uh, Churchill Show Journey Series Edition, of course, with the legend himself, Living Treasure. Eric Wainai na Gwetereire. But we said we do that thing in Kao. Okay. Gwetereire. You say Gwetereire. 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 Well, I'm actually doing a collab with a guy called Manasseh Shalom Manasseh, in, our, yeah. in our Christmas show. Oh. Um, he's got this great version of uh, uh, We Three Kings, yes. right? So you know the, the story of the We Three Kings, yes, and they came yes, from yes. the east, uh -huh. right? You know, from the Orient, yes. right? Uh -huh. So ukiwa Kenya, yeah. east ni wapi? Sindi Sindi ukambani, ukambani. Yeah. <laughs> right? So the guy is there like, uh, ati, yeso amezaliwa Nazareth, yeah. Nova. Nova. Uh, yeah. Jerusalem, Nova. Nova. <laughs> Where are we discussing? Hako tu hapa. First of all, I have to commend you. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. How do you even maintain this consistency and all this over the years? Well, consistency is a hard thing, Churchill. You know, yeah. there's, a, there's, a, there's, there's in your life, in yeah. your career, mm. you try and yeah. you try and be and have all this output, yeah. right? And sometimes you've got songs that are national yeah. or regional hits, mm. Mm. and other times you've got songs that don't do that well, but they're still really good songs, yeah. you know. Mm. And so you've got a trail of records, and and I mean, uh, people will still quote <laughs> your your first album, you yeah, know? Yeah. and you keep on asking yourself, is my best work behind me, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but then sort of uh, I'm thankful that, I, that, that, that I've been able to, A, first of all, surround myself with great collaborators, right? Mm. And so the producers mm. that I work with, the yeah. songwriters I work with, yeah. they're really good. And so we're able to keep on um, churning out this new material all the time, and that's, that's cool. Yeah. Um, but then there's always, the, there's always the balance, you know? So there's these things, right? Yes. And then the stuff that you might want to do, and then you're asking yourself, how do you strike the balance? What do I want to do, right? Yeah. Because the worst thing that you can ever do mm. is have a hit song yeah. that you hate, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because you and Goma are for the next 30 years, yes. right? Yeah. So you better <laughs> love that jam, yeah. right? Yeah. And, so it's, and so I'm learning, you yeah. know, as yeah. in, um, I've, been in, in I've, I've been a professional musician since 92. What is this like now? 28 years, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, and so we, it's, it's always like um, when I look at other musicians who've been this far in their career, yeah. sort of learning from them, what, yeah. what did they do yeah. to continue? Uh, to be relevant or continue to be able to make a living from it. Yeah. You know, someone would be asking, uh, you know, all these songs you've done, uh, what influenced you? And uh, did you know you had a passion in music from the word go? Ni wazazi walikuskuma, both of your parents. Um, how, how did you, where did you get the drive from? Well, I think that in our home, there was always music, mm -hmm. right? My mother and my father are these are wonderful dancers, yeah. right? And they were dancers. Ni wasewa <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. And they would do this routine all the time. And yeah. my dad would leave, but my mother is this. She was twirling and doing all these things. She was, yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Mm. And then whenever we had a party in the house, sazote yeah. kulikuwa na mangoma is in like, yeah. um, at a point, yani, even the record player, yes. tunazima. Anko wana tuwa guitar, sasa tunisema, ah, basi, twende. So you're a musical family? We're a musical family. Yeah. Um, but throughout my, my, my school life, I thought I was going to be a doctor, yeah. right? Yeah. And so even when I did my A-levels, I <laughs> yeah. saw my math, biology, and chemistry as my, as my highest, right? Yes. And so 
But then I just got bitten by the bug. When yeah. I was about 16, 17, I just knew there was a moment yeah. that happened on stage. I was in school singing with some of my friends. Yeah. And then we started singing this song and yeah. the audience just wakanyamaza completely, yeah. right? Yeah. And at that moment, it's like I just knew this is where I want to be for the rest of my life. You had to go and perform in front of the primary school, which wow. is the hardest audience, right? Yes, yes. So at that time, us guys are like in Form 5, yeah. right? Trying be our two like six, seven years old, right? Yeah, yeah. And those guys they're merciless. Yeah. Ah, ukiwa bo na kuambia. Exactly. Oh my kid your bus. Bus, exactly. Do you remember that song? I'm I English. do. Yeah, I do. Child. Well I feel good. Good, good. Well I feel good. Oh yes, my Lord. Because there's something about the spirit of Jesus that makes me feel good, 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 good. So in Anza na Sauti Moja, <laughs> and then the second voice comes in, yeah. and then it just becomes this huge, this wonderful experience. And your mom was there to support you? My mom was there to support me from the beginning, yeah. you know, and my dad as well. My parents are very non-traditional, yeah. right? Yeah. They sent my brother to play football in the UK to try out his, to see if he could get into a club. Uh, yeah. When he was like 15, you know? Back in the, I'm talking like, this was like 90, 80, 85, yes. right? Um, just to see, because we started seeing big league football, Sidiuakina, uh, Grobella, yeah. all those names from back in the day, yeah. right? Gaza. Exactly. No, uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Gaza ni wa 90s. Na sema huko 80s. 80s. Yeah. 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 You know? Wow, well, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, how so, did he fare, by the way? He did fine. He did fine. He's, he's your big brother. He's my big brother. Yeah. Um, he didn't make it into the Premier, uh, premier Clubs yeah. as he had wanted to. Yeah. But I think that right now, like that, that dream now, his, his, his sons okay. are really in football. Okay. And maybe, yeah. you never know, maybe the, the uh, dreams well, of the father. Ah, no, mm -hmm. Has your parent, any of your parents uh, watched your performance? Yes, yes. In fact, yeah. my dad has even danced at some of my shows. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. As in, uh, no jokes. You, even one when you had uh, become, yeah. The there's Eric there's, a, there's a song yeah. that um, I can't remember how it came about, mm. but uh, I was, when I was writing for, uh, there's a, an album I have called Love and Protest, right? Yes, yes. And there's a song on there called Twist, right? And yes. so it goes, Hingo mani ya babango, wimbo ni wamze wangu, ye upenda twist. Yeah, open the rock and roll. Yeah. Whenever we play that song at a gig, yeah, yeah, na toka toka crowd na sema basi. Fantastic. Just watch me. Yeah. Any anyone who comes on stage to dance with him, he just uh, up to today. Up to today, man is turning seventy eight in December. He's turning seventy eight. I lie, seventy seven. Seventy seven. We should thank God for that. I do all the time. Tell me about Cora. <laughs> the Cora Award, yeah, 2002. Yeah. Um, so Incha Kitokidogo had just come out. Yeah. And I think Cora was on its second year. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. uh, Ernest Ajovi, yeah. who was the founder, yeah. came to East Africa, mm. was looking for, hey, what's happening here? Yeah. And so um, uh, he, he got a couple of, uh, he had what was going on. Mm. Um, and then he, he selected a couple of, of, of artists to, uh, or rather there was a panel. Yeah. And then I, I went and I won this award. But in... Uh, a woman called Henry Mutuku, yeah. who was a gospel artist, or so, um, she also won Best East African as well. Yeah, yeah. Henry Mutuku. Henry Mutuku. Yeah, mm. amazing. You should do a collab with. It would be nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this is a best best African uh, artist best, best East, East Africa. Africa. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a nice Nina. award. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know, people think, uh, is that time you have a bad day in office? You know, you say like. Hey, we have a show. Like you know, at a can melipwa, I see, I go. Yeah, I'm a bad, bad day in office. Yeah, wow. that happens all the time. You know, it all, as in like you just need to be ready for that. You know, yeah. it or rather it can happen anytime. You know, yeah. and so you can go play a gig. Mm. Um, I remember as we were, we were playing this show once, and uh, the audience, mm. it was like it was the staff of this corporate, right? Yeah, yeah. Who I shall not name, right? Yeah. And they were having a really bad day because mm. there had been an announcement that affected them all yeah. um, and then I was, <laughs> now you're handed that audience at yeah. about 10.30 or say washa wakomaji and then pia wameambio hiyo bad news right? yeah. uh, yeah. and then you're being told sawa yeah. watumbuizi yeah. like that's not gonna work man yeah. it's, it's not possible <laughs> even when the DJ came to play guys was like ah shuka na ni wala you know it's yeah. like it was yeah. that, that happens you know yeah. Yeah. Um, so, but so how, what do you do in such a case you know, different times, different things. So, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. at, at one time, I played this gig in Switzerland, right? Yeah. Yeah. Up in a mountain village, right? Yeah. We were 
seven guys on stage mm -hmm. and there were eight guys in the audience. Ah, <laughs> Meshka, your story, right? But thing is this, right? Yeah. But we gave them a show, yeah. right? Yeah. And a the full band. Yeah, you know, band. And yeah. they, they were there like, man, we're only eight guys, but you played like that. Yeah. God bless you. And at the end, we even took a group photo. Yeah. All fifteen of us. It was very nice. <laughs> it was very nice, right? And that 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 kind of stuff happens, you know. Okay. Um, well, is that one of the most memorable gigs you've ever? I, I think so. I yeah. think so. I need to find that photograph. Yeah. Because if I ever do like a, a biography, it's got to be in there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the biggest? The biggest show? Oh, I don't know. I mean, there have been a couple of... I know of, you've done so many. So yeah, many I mean, many. well, there have been a couple of, of big festivals here where it's like a multi-artist festival, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. You need those kind of numbers. You need those, a bunch of artists on stage in order to bring that kind of crowd, you know. Yeah. And it's, it's great that when, when we begin to work together like that as artists because we're not in competition with each other, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the people, it's, it's not a marriage, yeah. right? Yeah. You can like so-and-so, yeah. and you can like so-and-so, yeah. it's fine, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and so, the more we work together, the, the larger the, the audiences we can get, you know? Uh -huh. mm. Yeah. Is, that one, is there one that's so memorable, something unique happened on stage, maybe, and uh, mm. uh, mm. Do I remember one? Mm. Um, well, I think, well, I guess maybe one of the most memorable ones, and I mean, there, there are several, yeah. but when we first played Incha Kitukidogo in front of a large audience, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was at the Bomas of Kenya for the Kenya Music Festival. Yeah. And uh, it was at the, well, I wouldn't say the height of Moise. It was the last years of Moise reign, yeah. right? Yeah. Saitoti was the guest of honor. Yeah. Here I am singing about corruption. Yeah. And then there was, it, it appeared like, they were trying to switch my microphone off, or I was, I was being called off stage by one of the organizers. They're like, <laughs> in Goma, you share, yeah, right? Yeah. And then we, I was, I was, I mean, you're playing in front of the government, you know, yeah. and so you, you kind of do get yeah. a bit. Yeah. I, I was, I was scared, yeah. right? Mm. But then behind me, mm. um, the choreographer, because I was, I was doing the song with, with, with dancers, yeah. the choreographer who was on stage as well, yeah. I heard him say, "Dance hard." Now you're telling his guys, "Dance hard, dance hard," yeah. right? Yeah. It gave me motivation. Yeah. Then the audience. Yeah. Because the song had been on air for about a month, yeah. they started to sing the song, yeah. right? Yeah. And so that, that solidarity, yes. right, um, is definitely one of the crowning moments of my career. Okay. So, in fact, the opposite, exact. Yeah. And I'm kind of not very proud of this story, yeah. but I'll just tell you, right? <laughs> tell me. What so, um, I'm driving one day. Yeah. I'm driving one day. Yeah. Uh, boss, eh. to a license. I eh. didn't have my license, right? Eh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> then I was like, yes. I had your ID. I was like, officer, tell you the truth. Wallet, na ID, na driving license, <laughs> meziata mahali. Eh. I'm very sorry. Eh. Akasema basi ni mbie. <laughs> So <laughs> what had happened was yeah. I was in the, I had a producer at yeah. the studio, yeah. right? Yeah. Who had come from out of town yeah. and he's charging me by the hour. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And they're like, okay, I, I need to get out of this situation as fast as I can. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm there like so otherwise I would have stayed there and would have been shunned for a while, right? Yeah. So he said, he said Imba. The yeah. Kamuniza Nimbe Ngomagani. Imba yo in chat to dog. Imba what? Imba, but in your nyukone size. So I start, I sing the song, yeah. verse moja na chorus moja. Yeah. Then he looks at me and he says, See you, wewe. Lakini umejaribu nenda. So, you know what, what's crazy? Okay, so, it's a funny story, but yeah. like when I, tell, when I told one of my friends about that, yeah. she was like, so, you had mm. that mm. opportunity yes. to do that with a cop, right? Yeah. So the rest of us, what are we going to do? Zilas mm. mwapeane. So, why I'm ashamed about it is because in that sense, I did pay a bribe, you know? Mm. I did use a position that I had to do that, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of just being there like, I don't have my license, I don't have my ID. Come on, Ivo. Let's go. Let, yeah, let's go. Let's go. You know? I mean, what's the worst, you know? Cash on You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so, well, it's a funny story. Yeah. I'm, I'm, but not, I'm not so proud of it. No, no, it's all right. Kuna makosa. Ukiulizam Kenya na wambia kuna makosa. Kuna makosa. You give people power that they don't have. Let's talk about the Imam Kenya. So, so this is the only song apparently in Achezaguna. Every time we seem to be going through a difficult time, Kenya. Mm. 
tuna sijui ninajipata kama ingia hata kwa simu automatically mm. okay how do you come up with that uh, a man in a bar yeah. said to me yeah. write a song for harambe stars this was like 97 yeah. right mm. Um, and Harambe Stars was doing really well in the qualification for Africa Cup of Nations that year. I think to to Mexico, something like 97. Yeah, second yeah. or third That's round. That's the time we drew with the with the Nigeria. Was that, was that, yeah, was that, was that, was that? We were doing very well. We were doing we were doing fine and yeah. so uh, so he said to me write a song yeah. about uh, Harambe Stars. About Harambe Stars. So yeah. I went home. But there several yeah. things had been happening in Kenya's history at that point because yeah. I started to write the song. Yeah. But 92 there was that there was there was uh, the first clashes we saw yeah. which happened in the rift yeah. and then 94 mm. Rwanda happened yeah. and then 97 tuliona tuli hizo hizo clashes sasa zimefika likoni right? yeah. so yeah. we began to see this is a national problem yeah, yeah. so when i was writing this song as they like yeah fine yeah. harambe stars deserves a song oh, but yeah. there's a larger yeah. there's a larger thing to to address and yeah. so that's where that song came from they my mem kenya Yeah, initially it was actually in English. Sasa kwa kizungu inaenda aje. Um to work, to dream, to live for Kenya only. Let my flag remind me of my sacred duty. You've never had it. I have. Yeah, yeah. So Kiswahili ingilia wapi? About 99 2000 when I was writing the album Sawa Sawa, yeah. a friend of mine said andika ngoma ambayo yani album ambayo iko that's relevant to Kenya. Kenya. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I was a student in the US at the time, nikamwa mm. kurudi nyumbani for a period to discover what it meant to be a Kenyan musician because you know right now yeah. it's there's a lot of resources. Yeah. Kawa ni msanii, yeah. right? Mm. Starting out. Yeah. Unaweza kucheki just name whoever, mm. right? Mm. Unaweza kuwapata kwa YouTube yeah. or anything, right? Mm. Mm. But at that point resources yeah. they were not that many, right? right? Yeah. And so if you are trying to understand what it meant to be a Kenyan musician you had to you had to you had to dig deep yeah, and chimbe so, yeah exactly yeah. and so as a student in the US at the time ni kama okay let me i don't know what it means to be a Kenyan musician what and nyumbani ni fanye utafiti kidogo and then understand yeah. what it means you see when you doing like with comedy when you try to come up with the uh, punch lines and stuff unaendaga mali kuna watu you try it with people some even don't know what you're doing mm. uh, i see you have a beautiful studio here When you're doing a song come at the Imam K where where do you reflect where, where where do you hide where do you go and get that inspiration from Okay so for like for that first album I was I pretty much all alone in the house right yeah. we had a piano I borrowed from a friend yeah. and I'd wake up in the morning read the newspaper yeah. right um and then start writing right mm. and uh, like with many things as, as as you know you know you're trying things out over a period of time mm. um you get an idea yeah. but an idea is only 1% yeah. the rest of it is is hammering that idea into into what in, into what is a beautiful thing yeah. people think that songs or good comedy yeah. comes from inspiration yeah. it does there's a bit of inspiration yeah. but the rest of it is just perspiration it's trying yeah. to figure out how this thing works mm. how to line up your punchline you know yeah. the, you put one word in the wrong place joke inanguka inanguka you know yeah and so Um, so also what we've done is when we were playing a lot of live gigs and which hasn't happened this year yeah, right yeah. you try material in front of an audience yeah. and then you understand what works what doesn't work and so but like even with a song like Inchaki to Kidogo yeah. the first time I played it was for my family who had, had gathered together for for a, for a little party yeah. and one of my uncles who's a, who's a joker and a guitarist he was laughing at every line I was like sabasi <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, so I mean and so I think I should probably try that with, with other songs you should future. by the way and I like the way you you, you had uh, KJ na nyambane yeah uh, yeah that was a, an interesting thing they happened to come to Boston yeah for one of their comedy tours yes and then I went and I opened for them yeah. and I said hey man you guys since you're in town yeah. and we're recording this album singe mkudia tu tennis studio yeah. and they came it was good that was awesome yeah, yeah. now I need to know your biggest fan I need to know about madam <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> when we come back okay. all right great sure. and of course the plays and all these other things cool. don't go away the beautiful story of eric wainaina <laughs> sawa 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 another day and another power 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 i'm growing wings to fly like eagles higher 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 i'm reaching for the stars and further sawa 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 wow. and we'll be right back after the break don't go away <laughs> sawa sawa
world. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back to a beautiful, beautiful homestead there, Eric Wainaina, the Journey Series Edition Churchill Show. By the way, how do you survive here, Maze? Eh? What's, what's uh, as it's like? beautiful. Maze, I want a neighbor. Neighbor, ni meet. <laughs> neighbor, ni wanyama. <laughs> ni wanyama. Muzo kupata nyati yuku. Every day we are, we are fighting with, with nyanis. Yeah. Baboons are here all the time. Juzi uh -huh. kulikuwa na kasimba. Hapa chini. Simba inatebea hapo tu. Hapo down tu. Tunasikia waki kuruma kuruma kila wakati. Unaona zienda kukunyua maji pale? Yeah, of course. In fact, I'm shocked there's nothing there right now. There's giraffes on the horizon all the time. Yeah. It's nice. We are so beautiful. You like this uh, privacy? Very much. Very nice. Eh? It's a beautiful place to come and relax. How she by? She's great. Yeah. She's upstairs right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure, I need to say hi to her. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. will. She's yeah. the biggest pillar. She definitely is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Tell me about respect. it. Mlikutana hapi kwanza. Tulikutana St. Mary's. Yeah. Uh, where we were both in school, but yeah. we went in school at the same time. Right? Yeah. So, Lilipotoka Saints, yeah, Linda yeah, Desta. Yeah. And for some reason, they didn't need my living certificate. Yeah. Right? yeah. So, after about, uh, I did Linda Desta for about three semesters, yeah. and then Five Alive, the group that I used to sing with, Kaenda Lea Kuvuma, for about four years. And then I decided to go to college, yeah. at which point I needed my living certificate. Mm. So, I went to St. Mary's School, yeah. 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 Naingia. The main entrance evening, yeah. I see this beautiful girl standing there, right? Yeah. Now, remember, I'd been in Saints all my life. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Can you show me the way to the principal's office? Well, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew exactly where it was. Yes, you know? you've been I've been here. I've been in Saints like 12 years, yes. right? Yeah. So she was just looking at me like, nah, silly, like I don't know what you're up to, right? Yeah. So we had a nice conversation. Yeah. And over the course of about, that was like, that was 95 April. Yeah. Uh, over the course of the next three years, yeah. we would bump into each other in different places. Yeah. Then up until we started dating in, uh, in August of 98. Yeah. I mean, Sheba went to an all women's college in, uh, just outside Boston. Yeah. Uh, same place that Hil Hillary Clinton went to. It's called wow. Wellesley. Wow. All women. Yeah, she, yeah. She studied political science. Yeah. And so we were both students there at the same time. Yeah. The Sasa, the relationship, Ikanza Kukoma. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. You mkone up and out Me and Sheba have uh, two daughters, and then I have a son called Zion. Yeah. He lives in the U.S. with his mother. Yeah. Um, he just turned 10. Well, t he turned 10 in, in July. Yeah. And uh, he's, he's a great kid, you know. Yeah. Um, it, the, the challenge, as one would, as, as you would understand, yeah. is at the beginning there was a lot of how do we negotiate this yeah. particular situation, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, but right now, we're in a, we're in a place where He's a, he's a big boy, yeah. right? And we have a, we have, we have a relationship, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And his mother is currently is, is married, yeah. right? Yeah. And so... Um, is that... Uh, the Valerie. And Valerie, yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, she, she recently got married and they've got, they've, they've got a, a daughter of their own, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so um, now the thing has become, the question is, what should he call me? Right, so yeah. we we're, we're, now we're having those kind of conversations, yeah. you know, yeah. because of course he calls his Valerie's husband yeah. dad, yeah. right? Yeah. So what should he call me, you know? Mm -hmm. And negotiating those kind of things, they can only be done with with uh, with a tremendous degree of honesty, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and just and and negotiation, you know, and uh, the when that thing was 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 a, was a, a big old wound. Mm -hmm. Right? My mother said to me, yeah. what you've got to, let to, what you've got to ha do yeah. is let Sheba lead. Let Sheba lead yeah. you in this situation. Yeah. Right? And if you do that, yeah. everyone's going to come out on top. Wow. And because she's an amazing woman mm. um, who is a, a very just human being, yeah. you know, she is a... We've come, we've come through this, right? Mm. Also, um, and and this 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 is always a thing. So, as like for example, someone like Valerie, right? Yeah, yeah. She spent a lot of her time being known as the person who had this thing 
with Eric, yeah. right? Mm. And the problem with that mm. is that women always get the raw end of the of the stick, right? Yeah. Yeah. As far as their careers get even clouded mm. by those kind of things. Mm. Yet she's an amazing actor. Yeah. She's an amazing singer mm -hmm. and an, um, an amazing mother to my son. Right. And that's, I'd, I'd want her to be known for that, you know, yeah. as this Without fantastic clout. artist, right? Yeah. Yeah. Who 10 years ago mm. was involved in something that, that as a situation that, that was unpleasant. But right now, is a 10-year-old boy who's this fantastic kid. Yeah. And there's this woman who's carrying on with her life and her career, yeah. right? Mm. And there's this guy, right, who's carrying on with his life and his career, and everyone is, is not only being civil, mm. it's not about just being civility, it's about genuine love and concern mm. for, like for example, for, for our boy, for, for Zion, you know? And how he fits into this family, you know? Yeah. How my daughters relate with him and his mother, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. so it's, we're in a good place, you know? Um, yeah. That's awesome. That's I'm very, glad you think very so. Very special, very, very special. Because uh, I, I remember when all this was happening, it's, You know, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy. I don't recommend it. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad what your mom told you. That was the best mm. advice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about music here, Sai. And mm. uh, first of all, what I'm going to say, your songs, who is your activism? Eric, who is your activism? The kind of music you do. Well, I mean, there's... there's, there's okay, so, yeah. I, came, I came to music. Yeah the other church yeah right yeah and there's a lot of pressure yeah. on people who come through the church yeah. right if you want to address a larger theme yeah. right yeah it's like uh the church initially the, yeah. uh, they would be the, they said no yeah right mm. if you can't you can't sing in you can't sing in none sort of gospel settings you know yeah. even weddings in Likwashida. so right? we church Ulianzia church not not as five uh, as five uh, alive. Alive. church church yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, baptist was our was our base nairobi ba baptist yeah ambrose nyao mutaba was the that's the road yes yeah. yes yeah yeah nairobi baptist yeah, yeah. yeah. and and uh, pastor gishinga yeah. Yeah. yeah the five uh, of you well victor was a member there victor say victor say mm. um and the rest of us because he was our leader we sort yeah. of gravitated towards that being our church base yeah. but we all came from different places right yeah. Yeah. me i was a, I was, a, I was a catholic i was yeah. raised a catholic you yeah. know? um and so uh that's that's where we began but yeah. then and so we started to get asked to play in other settings mara unaimba kwa harusi mara unaimba kwa whatever and then yeah. Yeah. obviously at one point someone says yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and that becomes a big deal. It's like at that time, carnival was the big word. Yes. All seen as cathedral. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so, um, and for, for me and yeah. for all of us, it meant we wanted to sing to a larger audience than we were singing to. Yeah. Um, but then also, we had, we had all, we were, we were young men who had grown up in Moe's time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And we all had very, sort of, we had a, we, we, we had very serious political thinking, all of us. Yeah. Remember one time, Victor, they come from the rift. Yeah. Yeah? They were driving back from, from, uh, from Shags one time. Yeah. Is there like on either side of the, of the road, mm. houses were on fire, yeah. right? Uh, uh. He says, guys, if we're going to be talking to an audience, yeah. we have to address some of these things. Yeah. And so for me, that's sort of where it began, sort mm. of wanting, wanting to sing about truth and that not necessarily only being yeah. biblical truth. Yeah. And so church, at what point did you say Nimetosheka Meacha Kuimba Sur is a church? Well they no. deny you an opportunity to well, sing in church. I, there was some of that, but that's not for me it was that's not the reason. You know, yeah. I wanted I wanted to address larger things. Yeah. Um and by larger things I'm not I'm not I'm not diminishing the gospel. What I'm saying is yeah. I wanted to talk to a larger audience about everything. Ab about, issues. about everything. About you know? issues. About issues. You know, yeah. activism, about love, yeah. about whatever. Yeah. You know, you yeah. express yourself. Exactly. Now I'm getting all the end happy. 
wako wote wako as uh, yeah. Victor is Victor is, is producing a TV show yeah uh Joe is, is producing with Victor yeah Bob is in real estate yeah. and Chris is doing film that's it that's it and one of our founding me members David Magaria is yeah. uh, is an animator yeah well just doing our thing. We should do one uh, like a comeback. A comeback. Yeah, maybe, maybe. We talk about it all That'll the time. Awesome. You talk about it all the all time. All the time. Yeah. Time, mm. in the end, eh? time in the end. Time in the end. Time in the end. Time is flying. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. The 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 the, 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 the gangeton. The, the music now that is. What do you think about? Uh, I music? love gangeton. Yeah. Gangeton is just a wonderful, wonderful thing. Yeah. I think one of the things it does. Yeah. Is the freedom. Yeah. That these 20 year olds are expressing yes you know yeah. and this is why i keep on saying to anyone who's trying to censor them yeah. don't censor these kids right yeah one of the things that these kids are saying is look yeah. right yeah pastor whoever yeah. or so and so yeah. right mm. in your church or in your gatherings yeah you let corrupt political officials come and sit in the front row right yeah you don't tell me what to sing about yeah right yeah and i really i like that freedom yeah uh because we don't we we're not thinking about it right now yeah but that will allow us to even become a better a, a better political nation how we think about stuff the freedom yeah. that we think about stuff yeah you know there's a certain way that tuna tuna fuata motaratara yeah yeah <laughs> because we are even na moi and that's where we are yeah. right now we can't heads. move we can't move yeah. right but these kids are there like uh-uh yeah. excuse yes right yeah. i've got another plan yeah. and i really really respect those kids Mwendele kufanya vile mnafanya. Oliver Mtukuzi. Mm. Mm. Yeah. The late. The late. Yeah, how was that? Working with It was great. I mean, Oliver is a really humble guy and he's played on every stage in the world, yeah. you know. And uh, he's what can I say? He was he was like my musical father, okay. you know. Yeah. I mean, uh, I met him because when I was when I won that Cora award that we talked about earlier on, yeah. I mentioned in my acceptance speech, why am I hearing about Oliver today? Yes. Right? here yeah. uh, rather i meant I'd, i'd heard about him in boston right yeah, yeah. why am i hearing about him in boston yeah. as an african mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. why isn't there more zimbabwean music on yeah. kenyan radio yeah. or whoever or whoever just more pan african you know yeah. and so he, he he met me in the in the changing room and he was like hey kid you know that was nice we should we should work together yeah and so it was cool and so um he's the kind of guy he walks into the studio and um he learns the song he translated it into shona yeah. on the spot you know yeah and we and we just jammed he's he's fantastic and that, it's sad that he's gone yeah it is twende mm. that's the song twende twende is the song twende twende yep. Thank you so much Eric. Thank you Chatel. Now we go to have food. Let's do that. Nimesikia jamaa ananitia food huko kwa dirisha. Sijajua ni nani. Wapi huko? Unaitwa nani? On the other side. Oh sawa, tuende tukule. Let's take a Kasante. It's a beautiful place. Mnapigana na manyati huko na na simba. Na masimba. Vifaru. Yeah. Actually there's only been one to be honest. Eh? Yeah. <laughs>